Taurus. Hi, Earth signs. So basically, uh, as I've explained in my other videos, I'm trying to do these a little shorter. Um, the upload time for the videos was getting a little ridiculous, so I am going to try to keep this to around 10 minutes or so. i um, going to go ahead and give these cards another shuffle, although I've been shuffling them. Um, and we'll see what comes out for you guys. I'm going to use Rider Weight Tarot to begin with, and then I'll probably use the Voodoo Deck to get you your second set of uh, clarifiers. So just one more little shuffle here, and then we'll start. I also wanted to go ahead and continue to pull from books for this. The book that I chose for today was um, Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. This is by Mary Baker Eddy. I'm not religious, but I do like to take knowledge from books in order to keep things in perspective. So I am just going to uh, flip here, stop somewhere random. Uh, we landed on chapter 11, page 340, um, Some Objections Answered. It says, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? That's from Jesus. Um, this is from Paul. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your uh, your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. So I kind of think, um, you know, I'll, because I'm not religious, I'm going to break this down for you guys in a different way. I kind of think what they're trying to say is that who, who can really tell you who you are? You can. You know who you are. So that's really at the end of the day that what spirit is always trying to tell you, is always trying to whisper in your ear is about your origin source or your uh, beginnings, whether they be humble or not. Uh, it's definitely a, you know, your flesh and your spirit, your mind, uh, your, all of that is, it's a, a trinity of, of one. <laughs> you know, you've got your mind, your body, and your spirit. So it's, it's really, uh, it is a cohesion of the three together that creates a human. Um, otherwise, when someone was to die or pass away, uh, just because their brain is still in their body, they would still be thinking or still be present. So um, that's it's kind of an interesting... I did read a study also one time, just as a side note, this is coming to mind, uh, about the weight of a soul. They actually do have studies on people who are passing away and they weigh the person while they're passing and there's actually a difference. Um, after their soul has left their body. Um, so I don't know if you guys have thought about things like the weight of a shadow or the weight of a soul, but it's interesting things to look up. Um, just because if you, you know, if you believe in photons of light, then you may believe in something like the weight of a shadow. So um, just some food for thought there, but uh, I do have your four cards out, uh, Taurus. The first is the Hermit card. So the Hermit card is typically Virgo. This could be you guys in that you're withdrawn more to yourself right now, thinking about some things, trying to shed light or illuminate what's going on. Um, there's a little bit of snow here. It just started snowing in Colorado as well. But, um, you know, this, this man looks like he's been searching for a while. He's been left out in the cold about something and is looking for some answers within himself. That could very much be what's going on with you. As I just said, those the cohesion of all all parts of yourself is not something that uh, is easy to consider. Sometimes truth is hard to hear. Sometimes realizing those things about yourself that you need to change is not an easy task, but it is important. So um, the three of pentacles is working together. So it looks like you may be working with a Virgo. You may be working um, to illuminate you know, for yourself on the inside of yourself um, on a solo trip here how you're going to make the cohesion of the three parts of yourself come together. So I think it was Gandhi or somebody that said, um, when what you say, think, and do are all in line, that's true happiness. Um, definitely in this case, you've got some clarification to do because there's no choice moving forward. Something is no longer rushing towards you. So um, I don't know if this is a I don't know if this is a result of that. I don't know if that is a result of this. Um, I could take this in a couple different ways. You could be trying to work together with a Virgo or um, just taking the time, like I said, to get your own understanding of what you'd like to do, uh, working with other groups, people, institutions, thoughts, places, and things, uh, how you would like to go about doing that. Um, and um, 
you also may be feeling a lack of choices, like you're being pressured um, to do something quickly. Uh, in the upright, this would be having a ton of choices rushing in. In the, re in the reverse, this is not having a lot of choices. But because this came out with the Virgo Hermit card, I'm just more so seeing that this is an in internal journey that you're going to need to take for yourself to kind of clarify why it is that you're doing what you're doing, what it is that, that um, is sanctified about it for yourself, and how you're going to get there, what kind of choices you may have or um, which, which choices you may have passed up on to get where you're going, or why are you settling? This is what I'm hearing. Why are you settling for what you're settling for? Um, and, and largely, you know, what, what kind of what kind of light is that shining on your life, life for you to have shirked these options or whatever the case may be? Let me get the clarifiers from the Voodoo deck for you really quickly. And uh, I also want to go ahead and read one more passage from that book just to close this out here. So let me get some clarifiers, please. For the twist. Okay. All right. So the first card out there was uh, Erizuli. Frida the homie. Um, it's the card of, of self vanity and it's number seven. It's an air sign card. It's kind of like the seven of swords is the way that I see it. Next, we've got Madame La Lune or the, the woman of the moon in reverse. We've got the Simbe de la O, de la I don't know how you say that. Sorry if I'm butchering your French. Um, it's just the, you know, Basically, the jazz of the water or the um, the motion of the water there. Ooh. Way too many cards just flew out. I just need one more for the Knight of Swords in reverse, please. Okay. All right. So what we've got. So we've got the Tor uh, Taurus. <laughs> we have the Virgo. And for the Virgo card, like I said, we did get the um, uh, Erzuli Frida the Homie in reverse. So in the upright, this woman is looking at herself, at her reflection. She's sitting in front of a mirror. She's got a hand mirror. And she's also crying a river. Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake is coming to mind for some reason. Um, in the reverse... This would mean that you're no longer crying over spilled milk. You're no longer going to be looking at the parts of yourself that are not illuminated. This this man has a star on the inside of that lantern there. And that's what he's using to illuminate uh, this woman here. So whatever part of yourself has a star-like quality, and I don't mean like uh, Hollywood stars. I mean literally uh, the integrity, the love, the joy, the happiness, the bliss, the euphoria inside of yourself, you can shed light on why it is that you were maybe feeling a little insecure, why it is that you were crying over um, the perception of self. Uh, maybe the flesh, as we were just reading there. Maybe your body may be disconnected a little bit from your mental mindset or something like that. Um, this just is reflecting. This is both reflecting. This one's with a mirror. This one's with a light. So the mirror uh, and the light kind of uh, gives you a good idea of a hologram. I don't know why I'm getting that from this. But what kind of uh, projection have you been uh, putting the putting out for the world to, to witness and to see. That is largely the evaluation that I hear going on here. Um, moving forward, working together, so the Three of Pentacles, have the Madame La Lune in reverse. So whatever secret you may have had, um, this could be third party action, unfortunately. Um, you could be looking, you could be looking into that. You could have a Vir you could have a Virgo and uh, another person, or perhaps a Virgo and uh, like some kind of a an air sign in your chart. Um, but I'm seeing here that whatever secret, whatever secret emotions were being tended to by the wayside. This is Madame La Lune, so this is the secret behind the moon is the, the water, you know, the emotions, the deep, the depths. That's something that you need to learn how to work with or that you need to learn how to remove. So um, if this is a third party, you should probably consider ending that. If this is not a third party and you're just more or less thinking about how to illuminate for yourself, where you'd like to work together uh, with your the three components of yourself, this is bringing that out 
of the uh, out of the shadows and into the light. That's you working on doing that. Um, and then we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse, as well as the Sambi de la Ur. Um, This is you taking all of these choices and eating them. It's you taking all of these choices and, like, just kind of grabbing them. I don't know if you're, you know, I don't know why I'm seeing uh, the image of just throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing what sticks. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to try something new. But uh, personally, you know, this, this it's also not the best option. You can choose what kind of spaghetti you use. You want bow tie spaghettis. You want pesto. You want, um, you know, regular marinara sauce like you you've got options and it, it looks like you're trying to either consume all of those options at the same time or you're eliminating them in some way shape or form if this is third party action you may be making a choice at this time about which third party you'd like to proceed with or you could just be taking your own demons by the throat and saying hey I've had enough. No longer going to give this a choice to manifest in my life, body, mind, or spirit. So um, I've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. And what came out was Legba La Flambeau. So you're not going to be rushing in with all of this disruption any longer. Um, I'm seeing this man is clapping. That's what the sound, the white sound coming off his hands is. It's like almost a white hot searing sound is what I'm hearing. Uh, sometimes my ears will start buzzing really loud to the point where it's distracting. And I'm just hearing that buzzing happening here. You may be deciding or kind of uh, realizing that if you're able to kind of spearhead some of these distractions, some of these choices, some of the peripheral noise, uh, you could actually drown drown out some of that additional activity, all of these lightning strikes here, and focus on exactly what it is that you're trying to get to. This is an older gentleman, um, and he's also winking. I don't know if you can see that, but he is uh, a little mischievous, but also knows what he's doing. So um, Papa Legba is a typically not a good spirit to be associated with. But in this case, especially if it has to do with warding off, um, you know, negative energies or whatever, this is a positive sign that they're not rushing in. So um, only fools rush in. So just remember that. Uh, I am a little over time, so I'm going to go ahead and read one passage from this really quickly, and then I'm going to leave you guys to it. So the scriptures uh, on this volume would con condemn the oblivion to, ugh, sorry guys, I don't know why I can't read right now. The scriptures on this volume would condemn to oblivion the truth, which is raising up thousands from helplessness to strength and elevating them from a theoretical to a practical Christianity. These criticisms are generally based on detached sentences or clauses separated from their context. Even if the scripture, which grow in beauty and consistency from one grand root, uh, appear contradictory when subjected to such usage, Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God, aka truth. That's his passage here. So I think that that's exactly what we're talking about here. Um, good luck with illuminating truth for yourself. It looks like you're on the right path with that. Just definitely keep in mind that you're, you know, being able to eliminate some of the choices will actually help you to uh, make your way past some of the negative thoughts, energies, ideas, etc. So um, you guys take care. I'll see you next week.